Hi, welcome to our video series on interpreting lab values. In this one, I'm gonna go through a not so glamorous, but really important test. We're gonna dive into urine, visual, and chemical exam. Now, first of all, a UA is just a generic screening test that can check for markers in the urine. Now, don't be fooled by this humble test. It looks generic, which it is, but we can learn a lot about your patient. In fact, it gives us a snapshot of their overall health. I had an instructor that used to say, if we can get a UA and a CBC, we can get right up into your business and figure out what's going on in your body. And they were right. See, from a UA, I can tell about a patient's hydration status. I can check on their diabetes. I can check on kidney damage or a UTI. I can even look at all of this on a UA. So let me show you how you do that. Now, a complete urinalysis includes a physical exam, a chemical exam, and a microscopic exam. Now, I'm not exactly talking about the patient. I'm talking about a physical exam of the urine, a chemical exam of the urine, and a microscopic exam of the urine. That's a complete urine analysis. I can also do a dipstick urinalysis. Now, it's a lot more convenient because I just take a piece of paper that has special papers with chemicals on it. I dip it into the urine, dry it off, and then I compare the color changes to the key on the bottle. So this one is more convenient, but it also can give me a false positive and a false negative. So it's not as accurate. If I'm doing a complete urine analysis, it's not as convenient, but it is more accurate. Dipstick, I can get it a lot quicker, but it's not as accurate in its results. Now, a clean catch midstream sample can also be used, but remember, if you're getting one of these from your patients, you want to make sure it's examined within two hours of collecting the sample. Okay, so when we're talking about UA, I can do a complete urine analysis, I can do a dipstick urine analysis, and we're just talking about the type of sample. If you have a clean catch or a midstream sample, make sure you use it within two hours it is evaluated. Wow. That's a lot of information. I gotta tell you, when I'm first learning something and I see all these words on a page, my eyes just glaze over. My brain can't process that. So if you're on this, yay for you. But if you're like the rest of us mere mortals, I'm gonna show you how you break this down and what you look at. So right now, just enjoy it. Look at all the information we can get from a regular urine analysis. I'm gonna walk you through each section. Now on this one, look at this, you see I've got a little red highlight there for you to let you know that you've got blood. Now the reference range should be negative, but I happen to have some red blood cells, and so they did a microscopic exam. I'm gonna introduce you to that topic again a little bit later. But as you become proficient in this, you're gonna take a look at these results and be able to zero in right away on what the abnormal is. Not yet, but stick with us and you'll be able to do that like a pro.